spicy fermented radishes. Let me show you how. Hello, my name is Jersey, and welcome back to a very quick tutorial on how to make spicy fermented radishes. They're so good for you, less than a week, you can be eating these. So to begin with, I washed all the radishes with our veggie soap. I'll leave the link below. Then I'm going to slice them thin. You don't have to, but I just use a little hand mandolin. Ray and I like them very thin. Put them on tacos, put them on salad, but you can make them thicker if you like. So this is so easy to do. For the brine, I pre-made the brine. This is one pint of filtered water. We always use filtered water to about one and a half tablespoons of coarse sea salt. Do not use any salt that has iodine in it. I prefer to use dried peppers. I dehydrate everything. You can use a fresh pepper. You can use some garlic, a little bit of onions, some dill. Dill is really good in this. Just go out in the garden, put a sprig of dill in the jar. For this, I'm gonna be using one quart UV jar, because that's what I like to do. I only use UV when I have food on the counter. I'll be using a weight and an airlock system. If you do not want to incur that expense right now, look up there. Go check out the video I did on fermented pickles. It shows you how to do a workaround if you don't want to incur an extra cost right now. I'm gonna add one pepper dried to the quart jar. I'm gonna slice all these up and then we'll be right back before we put the brine in the jar. I do not bother cutting the ends off with a knife because the first slice and the last slice I just put into my compost bucket that's gonna go out to the worms and to the compost. And we are back. I didn't use quite two pounds. Use whatever fills up the jar. I'm going to gauge that this is going to fit in the two quart jar. Little mishap. There's a reason why they tell you you should use the guard. No worries, we're all good. So uh, what I like to do is start putting the radishes in the jar. Halfway, I'll add the pepper. There we go, we added the pepper. You can start adding your brine but I always add my brine last. This is designated just for fermenting. I just push it down just a little bit. I don't want to bruise them. I have about a half a pound left. I could either do a pint jar, which I'm not going to. Ray will just eat them with salt during the week for a snack. I have extra brine from my sauerkraut. In case I run short, I always seem to have brine in my refrigerator. I'm always making something fermenting. It's basically the same amount of brine. One and a half all the way up to two tablespoons per two cups of water. Filtered water. I gauge that pretty well. I better check to see if the glass lid's gonna fit. Yep. So I'll put these on a platter tonight for Ray with dinner. He's having venison, so that will go really well. As with all ferments, mine always seem to come out the top. I'm gonna to put a smaller vessel under this, but for now, I'm gonna give a shake to my brine, pour it slowly. And then I just take a stainless steel fork and I just put it in the edges, and you'll see the air coming out. It's like burping it, or when you're making canning, you always put something down the side and get the air out. And now look how much more room we have. Put our glass weight on, push, until it fills up. That's how I like to ferment. I'm gonna give a good push, get out any little floaters. Shouldn't be any, here's just a little piece, because that could mold. Put your fermenting silicone on, ring. Pretty snug, I like to wipe it down. So for a two quart jar, I used about one and a half pounds of radishes, three quarter pint of brine. Check it in five days. Seven days is usually optimal. We usually wait one week and then it's ready. Put it in the refrigerator, eat within a month, maybe two, have it with tacos. Having it on salad, it's excellent. I also like to grind it up with my chopper and then you can put it right on top of um, all beef hot dogs, kibasi, any type of meat like that where you want a little tang. Super easy, super good. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out my other foods from scratch. I have other fermenting foods in there. 
and safety first. Lesson learned on that one. If you'd like to see more, check out the show more below and please hit subscribe. Hit all bell notifications so you'll be notified when the next video comes out. Most important, please share on social media and give a thumbs up. And we'll see you on the next video. This is Jersey saying have an awesome day.